Hey everybody! I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, um, but my house has been under construction. I've got new floors, new um, countertops in the kitchen, and cabinets redone. So there was furniture moved everywhere. I couldn't get to my um, studio rooms. So I took a little bit of a break, but now I am back and ready to go. I'm going to be doing um, something I haven't done before, and it's a colander pour. I've seen um, a few artists do colander pours and they turn out really nice. One of my standout favorites is Molly from Molly's Artistry. Hers always look beautiful. So I'm going to give it a whirl and see if mine will turn out as beautiful as hers. Um, I'm also going to be working with um, a brand I haven't used before and it's Lucas. Uh, the first color I've got is uh, Viridian and then I've got Indigo. I'm also going to be using Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple and then Gold from Soho. Also have a mixture of the bare satin enamel with the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on and then I'll get started. Okay guys, so I got my gloves on, uh, but before I get started I wanted to show you I found these giant push pins on Amazon and I thought I would give them a try. You can see the <laughs> size difference from the big one to the little one. It's, uh, these are like almost two inches long from the whole thing, top to bottom. Um, so I thought I would give them a try because sometimes when I use the small ones, um, my paper has a tendency of curling up after it's gotten wet and it sometimes will stick to my canvas still. So I thought these would be uh, perfect to lift it up, you know, much, much more than the small one. All right, so if you're interested, I do have a link to those in my uh, description and um, it'll take you right to my Amazon store and you can check them out. All right, so I've got my cup here and I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting the paint in there and I think I am going to start with the indigo first and I did not put any um, silicone in any of the paints. I did uh, mix all of these with my normal pouring medium that I use, which is Liquitex, Floetrol, and water. So we will see what happens. I wasn't sure if the um, this white would maybe cause um, some maybe cloud cloud effect. It's the cloud effect mix that I use. I mean, I'm not I'm not sure because this is my first. Um, colander pour so <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see what happens all right and I don't even really know if this is gonna be enough I'm just kind of winging it here Put a little more white in there Okay, so I'm going to just put my colander in the middle and then I'm just going to start pouring. So I think I'm going to start in the middle because I know I've seen some people start on the outside. I'm going to start on the inside first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of let that seep out a bit. All right, I'm going to lift it really, really slow. Okay. 
All right, so I'm just gonna start moving it. Okay guys, so it's been about a half an hour. I'll take you in for a little close up so you can see these beautiful colors. Look at the middle, looks really nice. These colors just blended so beautifully. They reminded me of Mardi Gras. Looks awesome. And then I got all this cloud effect. I wasn't sure if it was gonna happen, but it did got a couple little areas where there's some cells but it's almost like a Mardi Gras storm it's very cool all right so I'm gonna let this dry and I will be back all right stay tuned okay guys so here's the painting all dry I will take you in for a little closer look I am pretty happy with my first try um, these colors look really really cool and I'm super happy with the middle. So I think that looks awesome. And also all the cloud effect that I got. That's pretty cool too. I didn't really get um, the design to stay. I kind of moved it around a little bit more except for the middle. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with my first try. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my links in my description, and have a great day.